In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a column chart in Excel 2016. Uh, this is the data that I have. And by the way, a column chart in Excel is a bar chart where the bars go up and down. And uh, they call it that to distinguish it from a bar chart, what they call a bar chart, which has uh, the bars going horizontally instead of vertically. But uh, basically, a column chart and a bar chart pretty much the same thing in Excel. The difference is basically one is rotated 90 degrees from the other one. So what do I want to end up with here? I want to end up with uh, the team names across the bottom. I want uh, one column for wins. I want one column for losses. So I'll have two bars of different colors for each team. And I also want to have a legend where I have wins and losses labeling uh, the different colored bars. So you might be tempted. Uh, we don't need the word teams in there at all. Um, we will put in a title. We'll do that separately later. Um, so since you don't need the word teams, but you do need these two words, you might be tempted to do um, a non-adjacent selection here where you do not select the word teams because you don't need them in the chart. And then you hold the control key down and you go here and select wins and losses and all the data underneath. And um, wins is still selected here, by the way. Uh, it always uh, leaves the place where you started uh, unshaded when you do a selection like that. So I've got uh, from row 3 here down to row 13 in column A. And then the other two columns I've got from row 2 down to row 13. So I've got uh, a little chunk cut out of this uh, rectangle. Now let's go to the Insert tab, which is where all of our charts are. And we'll go to the Charts area. And uh, Excel will recommend one for you. We know what we want, so we're going to go up here and we're going to choose a column chart. And usually the 2D ones are better. There are a number of choices here, and I'll do a quick preview for you. But uh, most of the time, you want the first one. Uh, if you choose one of the second ones, just make sure that you read it and understand exactly what it's doing before you select that chart. Okay, so we're going to do a 2D clustered column chart, which is this one right here. And that's what you get, and it looks absolutely nothing like what I wanted. So I'm going to undo that. And the reason that Excel couldn't figure out what to do is just because I left this one cell out right here. Okay, um, The basic rule for Excel when you're doing charts is the data has to form a, tri um, a rectangle. Sorry about that. It has to form a rectangle. And um, I didn't quite have a rectangle because I had this little corner cut out of it. So let's select the whole thing this time, and including the word teams. And let's go to our insert tab, and let's go to column chart, and we'll do a 2D clustered column chart. And there we go. Um, if you select the data correctly, and you notice it, it uh, highlights the data over here in different colors, uh, the part for the legend is highlighted in red, the part for the data here is highlighted in blue, and we've got this purple highlighting for the data that goes along the x-axis here. So this is um, what you get. If you want to go in now and customize, uh, you can customize all that you want to. We'll just do uh, one thing here, and that is we'll go in and we'll click on the chart title, and um, if you look carefully, this may not show up on the video, but you should be able to see it on your monitor if you're doing this on your own. Um, there is a solid line around chart title. If I click, that's if I click on the edge with the four-headed arrow. If I click inside, it turns into a dotted line, and when it's a dotted line, I can go in here and edit individual characters. I can use the left arrow and right arrow key and delete and backspace and, and type in whatever I want to modify the title. And I can also format individual characters. Um, so now, let's say I, I highlight uh, just the word title, and I get this nice little pop-up here, and I change the font to red. Only title changes to red. So when you've got the dotted line here, you can edit individual parts of what's inside the box. Um, I want the whole thing to be affected, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on the edge again, and it changes to a solid line. And now whatever I do is going to affect the entire title, and I can just start typing. So I'm just going to type in uh, 2009, whoops, 2009, and you'll notice it doesn't show up here, but it is showing up over here on the formula bar. And I'm just going to put whatever I've got in A1 there, so I'm going to type Big Ten Football, and it was smart enough to figure out the rest of it for me. And 
then hit enter and it will put whatever you typed in into this box uh, that only works if you have the solid line around the box and the handles uh, if you have a dotted line around the box then you are editing individual characters within the box so there's a lot of formatting you can do here we'll talk about that in a future video um, this one is just to show you how to select the data and there's one other thing I want to do regarding selecting the data here and that is uh, this is another mistake you might make um, let's say that you want all of this data here and let's we'll say you're doing it in columns like this and then you go you hold the control key down you go over here and you do this and before you get to the bottom you accidentally let, let go of the mouse too soon okay so I just let go of the mouse there and you think well no big deal I'll just select the rest of it and now I've got the exact data that I need selected I should be able to make a chart out of it and if you go over here and click on the insert tab and you go to you know 2d cluster column chart uh, with this, um, this is even worse than the one that we got before. Uh, so we'll just undo that. Uh, twice I moved it. Okay. And the reason that happened is because we made this two separate selections here in the wins and losses. You know, we got all the way down to row nine, and then we stopped, and then we started with, with row ten. And Excel does not like that. So if if you accidentally, you know, undershoot or overshoot, and you don't get right on the last line here. Uh, you pretty much have to start over as far as selecting your data goes. Uh, the basic rule is the data always has to be a rectangle and you have to select from top to bottom all at once. You can't pause in the middle. And we'll take a look at some other options for charts in some other videos.